Welcome back, Kiss Army, to another episode of We Are One. You wanted the best and you got the best. The hottest channel in the land, We Are One. Here I am and here you are. Welcome back to the Psycho Circus and welcome to the show, Kiss Army, as we dive into Kistory, old and new. We Are One was designed to preserve Kistory for generations to come, featuring interviews old and new, and of course, giving you the latest in Kiss news. So let's get ready to shout it out loud. Paul Stanley, the star child of KISS and the all-known but never said boss of KISS, Paul makes the final decision when it comes to anything KISS does, including who will appear on stage with KISS on end of the road tour dates. Kiss's current farewell tour with the current dates being postponed until next year. That does not stop Kiss from going to put on their Kiss 2020 goodbye show. This is going to be a New Year's Eve event where Kiss will be performing to send off 2020 in their larger than life style on New Year's Eve. The iconic Rock and Roll Hall of Fame multi-platinum selling band is reigniting the fire and roaring back to life. In true KISS fashion, they are bringing the biggest and baddest concert, event, and pyrotechnic show of the year, proving once again that KISS never does anything small. The massive stage production and free pre-show will be brought directly into your living room at 9 p.m. live from Atlantis, Dubai on December 31st. Filmed with more than 50 cameras and 360 degree views, this show, produced by Landmarks Live, can be seen globally with ticketing technology and live stream powered by TIXR, experienced like no other virtual concert before. So KISS is clearly putting that out there. So you can get the standard stream for 40 bucks and you just get to watch it for one day. You can do 50 bucks if you want to watch it for 72 hours. And then there's a ton of other, there's two other packages for 250 and a grand that you can take a look at. But what we're going to be taking a look at is possibility as we have been this week about KISS potentially doing some type of reunion on that New Year's Eve show. So earlier in the week, we've covered a potential KISS reunion, just the idea of it. Paul talking about Bruce, Ace, and Peter. And now we're going to take a look at Paul talking about Vinny and whether or not we can expect Vinny. As we know from Gene, Gene has said that he's never going to welcome Vinny back on stage. And if you think Gene has the final say, well, he does not, and Paul does. And Paul is agreeing with Gene in this. He says, the star child, however, and this is from a Guitar World interview, would not want to play with Vinnie Vincent, who was with the band during the Lick It Up album. Paul said, now Vinny, that's one exception, and for oh so many reasons. I would say that's someone who I want, not someone who I want to celebrate. So Paul not wanting to bring Vinny back into the fold. Gene also talked about the fact that he's not trying to bring Vinny back <laughs> at that point either. And Gene was a little less kind about it in terms of wanting to bring him back. He was asked that in the same question he was asked in talking about Bruce. And he included Bruce in that. But uh, let's listen to what Paul had to say about Bruce. And then we'll take a listen to what Gene's less kind words were towards Vinny. What are the chances we'll see Ace and Peter get up on stage with you at some point? To which Paul responded, It's really not up to me, but I'll say this is a celebration of this band and its accomplishments and its history. So anybody who was short-sighted enough to think this should be a reunion is missing the point. That being said, I would love to see everybody at one point or another and be on stage together. And if that doesn't happen, it's their choice, not mine. If you're talking about everybody, does that include Bruce Kulik? Well, Bruce's band played on the Kiss Cruise, the band's festival at sea, and they were phenomenal. I was listening to some of the 80s and 90s Kiss songs that he did live, and frankly, it made me very proud. He did a terrific job. So Bruce is somebody who shouldn't be overlooked or underestimated as far as his role in this band. The question Gene was asked was the following. Vinnie Vincent recently resurfaced following decades out of the public eye. You played a short acoustic set with him in Nashville back in early 2018. Any chance he could be welcomed back into the KISS fold? Gina responds with the following. Listen, there's personal and there's business. It's worth stating that Vinny has sued the band and lost 14 times. I'm not here to cast any aspersions. He's a talented guy. That's why he was in the band. But would I depend on him to get up on stage and do anything? Never. 
Another question came in. What about him having come up on stage and play, say, Lick It Up? It's worth noting that Vinny was extremely involved with Lick It Up, and ironically that being the only album cover that Vinny appeared on. Even with the reissue of Creatures, Vinny did not end up appearing on that album. Cover, cover-wise that is. And what's interesting is Vinny wrote, or co-wrote, the entire first side of Lick It Up. He co-wrote Exciter with Paul, he wrote Not For The Innocent with Gene, him and Paul co-wrote Lick It Up and Young and he co-wrote with Gene Young and Wasted, co-wrote with Paul Gimme Moore, had a credit on All Hells Breaking Loose, had a credit on A Million to One, and then he had a credit on And On the Eighth Day. The only two songs he didn't have a co-write on were Fits Like a Glove and Dance All Over Your Face, which were just exclusively attributed to Gene. Which is absolutely nuts, considering that that album went platinum and ended up at 24 on the US Billboard charts. And with that being the case, Vinny, if it was going to play anything on stage, would be that album. Gene responded to the question about Vinny playing Lick It Up, saying, no, never, never happening, no. How many times do you want to get sued before you say that's enough? Final question on this came in. So he's a guy that wouldn't even necessarily be welcomed as a guest at one of the end of the road shows. Gene responded, can he come to the shows? Of course, anybody can. But on stage, never. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Talk to me, and remember, God gave rock and roll to you, and God bless you.